welcome back to Christy's cooking channel. Today I'm going to make a southern favorite called Divinity. I'm going to be using Paula Dean's recipe from the cookbook The Lady and Sons Just Desserts. It's called Mama's Divinity. This is a candy that I've never tried or made before. Cricket over at Cooking with Cricket made some uh, wonderful meringue cookies and after watching her video I basically just ran in the kitchen and tried to make some myself. They turned out pretty good for my first time and my mother-in-law tried them and she asked me if I could make some divinity. So I said why not? So I'm going to try it out today. In the pan here I have four cups of sugar, a cup of light corn syrup, and three quarter cup of water. The recipe calls for white corn syrup but all I had was the light. Hopefully it'll work. I'm letting the sugar mixture get up to 250 degrees and I have the candy thermometer in there to check it. also have three egg whites that I'm beating until they get to stiff peaks. I probably should have used four egg whites since my eggs are pretty small but this is three egg whites that I went ahead and beat until they made the uh, stiff peaks. What I'm going to do now is turn the mixer on high and I'm going to pour a slow stream of the syrup into the egg mixture. mixing it for over five minutes I'm gonna go ahead and stir in about one and a half cup of pecans it's said to um, mix it at least five minutes till it holds its shape but I didn't have the uh, white corn syrup just the light so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference because it's still pretty shiny so I may have done it wrong I don't know we'll have to see this is gonna be pretty messy especially when I don't know what I'm doing so, just going to dollop some on there and we'll see how it goes. Definitely not firm as I was expecting it to be. I'm thinking maybe I should have used the extra egg white since I had such small eggs. But uh, I'm just going to let them set and we'll see how they turn out. I'm going to go ahead and finish up on another pan. Now as this mixture sits for a few minutes, it's actually holding shape a lot better. So maybe there's a way to save it after all. Definitely not perfect. The way the instructions tell you is you have to be really quick about getting it out. But the way mine turned out, it actually paid off to wait a few minutes because the first ones I scooped out, they were just uh, too soft and just laid flat where these actually stand up and hold their shape, which is what they're supposed to. This is not the shape you're supposed to make them. They normally look a whole lot prettier, but hopefully they'll taste good. The longer you let these sit, the more they'll harden up. These right here are a little bit thicker, so we went ahead and tried these already. They're delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and Give it a quick bite. Mmm, they're so good. So sweet. I definitely need to work on the spooning technique so they'll look a little bit better. And I also know just to let them sit just a minute or so before I start scooping them out. Just want to thank Cricket at Cooking with Cricket for making her meringue cookies, which gave us the idea to make these. And there you have it. Thanks a lot. There you have it. Thanks a lot. Okay, Leah, take a bite. Mm. Take a bite. That's a tiny bite. There you go. <laughs> you like it? I like it. Take another bite.
You want me to make some more? Okay. Okay. All right, I will. Yummy good. Yummy good. Take another bite. Mmm. <laughs>